if you do OnlyFans, it is not, I don't care if you make millions. Excuse my French, but I don't give a fuck about how much money you make if you're doing it that way because your soul is going to be tortured for years. There's, I, I said this earlier on the broadcast. There's no easy way to come back from doing that. I don't care how much money you make. Your soul and mind are going to be tortured trying to get back out of that life. It comes with evil things. It is an evil act. You're going to become across evil men who are going to pay you to do evil things for them. Fetishes. All types of stuff to degrade and dehumanize yourself. I don't care. That's why I don't care about the. That's why when you hear some people say money is the root of all evil. That makes sense because the things people are willing to do to make money. You've seen what it's done to our women. You've seen what it's done to our men. You got men who will go out there and scam people to their last dollar and they don't care as long as they're making money. Y'all see people who idolize Jordan Belford. When he was, when the Wolf of Wall Street came out, even though he was doing drugs, he was do he was beating his wife. He but he was rich though. He was scamming people out of their last dollar. He was breaking up families. He was destroying families. He was destroying people. But he was making money though, right? No, he was destroying family. He was a terrible person. It's the same thing with OnlyFans. There's no you're destroying lives. And you're getting all this stuff from the worst men you can think of when it comes to sexual addiction. And you think the money's worth it. I'm sorry to tell you, but if you get into the OnlyFans place for a few seconds of fame, 10 years of showing your body off, it will never, ever be worth it. You will turn into a sexual object. And on not only that, the chances of you, and this is what's so sad, and I think this is what women get confused and even men but if you're an OnlyFans and you make all this money that they say you can make even though the vast majority of you guys won't make this money but let's say you make more what is the outcome you want you think you're going to make all this money to get yourself out of poverty and then life is going to go grand from there oh I'll stop when I make a million dollars and I'll go. I'll be fine from there. What is all that money worth when you have nobody? Because I want you to ask yourself a question. First of all, we'll take the morality out of it for now. Let's just go from just a, a standpoint of men. What man is going to want to date an OnlyFans model, even if she made a million dollars? How much work do you think a woman would have to do on OnlyFans to make a million dollars? How long do you think she has to be in the system? How many pictures do you think she has to produce? How many videos do you think she has to do? How many times do you think she has to have somebody do some degrading stuff while she's on her knees? How many times do you think she had to let somebody climax inside of her? How many times do you think somebody had to climax on her body, on her face, on her back, all over her? How many times do you think she had to do something with another girl? How many times did she have to stick something inside of herself? How many times do you think a girl has to do that to get to a million dollars on OnlyFans? How many men want to be with a girl who did that for, with that many men, that many girls, that many toys for that many men and that many DMs for the world to see how many men are going to want to get with a girl like that. What purpose would it serve him? He would it be would it make more sense for a man to get with a girl who is making thirty thousand dollars a year at McDonald's or get with a woman who damn near had to give you years of content to make that million dollars? What use would she be to you anymore? She's going to need therapy for the rest of her damn life. Probably she's going to be fighting demons every night. She's going to be fighting with men, stalkers and all that kind of stuff. It's just not something a man would want. Why can't you? And then ladies, for the ladies who get out there and say, well, I don't need a man. I'll just die alone. Damn, that sucks. So you made all that money, all those millions. I remember a woman saying, y'all probably remember this video too. The woman who was the OnlyFans model who had kids. And, she, and they said, don't you think about the kids thinking that their mother is a corn star? Don't you care about that? And she said they can cry in a Ferrari. And that's the fucking problem. They can cry in a Ferrari. 
And that's why some people say, and that's why you hear, and that's why you've read money is the root of all evil. How evil of a fucking person do you have to be to be like, I don't give a damn what my kids have to go through. I don't care how much they're bullied. I don't care how much they have to look up their mom as a corn star. I'll buy them a Ferrari and that'll shut them the fuck up. No, it won't. Because there's plenty of people in this world that have tons of money who still get caught up in drugs, who still get caught up in alcohol, who still get caught in addiction and go blow their fucking heads off off at night. In the middle of the night when nobody's thinking about it, they hang themselves. Let's not act stupid. Stop acting like you going out there and showing your body to you doesn't affect the world. And so for those women who are like, oh, I just got to get the bag and I'll find a man one day, you'll die alone with all that money all over you. And you know what life is truly about? Yes, money can make things easier, but not when you have to do stuff like that. Not when you have to destroy lives and destroy yourself. I promise you, with all that money in the world, you will never fucking escape those nightmares. You'll never escape all the stuff you have to dig. You'll never escape that. That's the problem. And if you think you're just going to, and I, I, I don't mean this in a negative way, but if you think you're just going to run to God and run to church and it'll all just go away, you're fooling yourself. God is a just God. I told you all about King David earlier. When King David did his evil act, he didn't escape the consequences. That's what love is. You, now you're going to have to deal with that. You're going to have to deal with those hard times. You're going to have to deal with all of that. Now, prayer will get you through. It will make it easier. But that doesn't mean you're going to get a man. That doesn't mean all that money can just go up in flames. You're still going to go to home crying. You're still going to need counseling. You're still going to need all that. Nobody's coming to save you, ladies. And that's what y'all got to get to y'all's head. So go do your damn OnlyFans. Do it, please. But just know it's going to come with the world of pain that you didn't have to go through. You could have just lived a life. Been okay. But that money, that money that destroys so many people's lives, there's nothing wrong with getting money. But you can do it the right way, the hard way. But you try to go that quick way and just start on there and just fucking just give yourself over to all of it. When you just open yourself up to all the evil stuff, because think about this, truly think about this. When you get on OnlyFans and you do all these sexual things, you're not only just opening. Yeah, you might be in your bedroom alone or with another guy you don't know or your boyfriend or whoever the hell. You're opening yourself up, not just to that, but all the men who are addicted all the men who can't let the pornography go, who have let themselves open, you're going to get all of that, all of this. You can block as many men as you want to. They will keep coming. If you want them to keep making money, you're going to have to accept some of them. Okay. And when you get that one guy who decides to keep showering you, he's going to want some. He's going to want some. There ain't going to be no way to escape that. I promise you all these men, they're going to want something. Eventually they keep giving you money. There's not going to be, you can get all the security guards and all the stuff you want. You're not going to escape those men who are going to want something. I know Amaranth may seem like she's happy and loving life. There ain't no woman on this planet, and I believe this truly, who is a corn star or is showing themselves digitally, sexually to men that are happy with their lives. Because you can't be happy with that. Why? Because you're literally selling yourself. Maybe you're making millions, but to each man that you're selling yourself to, this girl that we just watched, she's selling her body for $5 a month right now. Five. Five. Now, she could be making $15,000 when all those fives come together. But to that one man, the Billy on the other side, Bob on the other side, Mike, John, Russell, all those guys see you for $5 a month, maybe $15 a month for you to do a little bit more, maybe $30 a month to see you do some girl on girl, maybe $45 a month to see you with a man. I don't give a fuck. You hear me? 45. So you think, and yeah, it may seem a lot to, yeah, when we think about it, oh man, that's $45 just to see it. See, you can go see on the hub.com. I get it. But baby girl. You just had sex with a man, your boyfriend, some stranger, some girl for $45. Yeah, $45 coming from a lot of people. I get it. But to that one man, you're willing to sell everything, something that was meant for one man. You're willing to give everything away. You're willing to do all that. You're willing to do all these disgusting acts for $45. 
No different from the hooker on the street. Yes, you're getting it all at one time because it's digital now. But to that one man, you're a hooker on the street who's willing to give him anything he wants for $45 a month. And for the girls who do the girlfriend experience, $500 a month for her to talk to you and for her to send you pics. Baby girl, that's $500 a month. $500, that's poverty. That means a man who is in poverty, if all he did was spend that much money on you, $500 a month? Got us $12,000 a year before taxes. <clears throat> So a man who's on the brink of living in a box, paying you $500 a month, that's a lot, but it's not. Is it worth $500 a month? Is your body worth $15,000 a month? Is it worth a million? Is because I promise, and guys, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. And this is what's so hard to get through to these people. But I've dealt with those, I hate saying demons, I really do, but it's something that people understand. But what I'm really saying is dealing with those thoughts. I was a man who dealt with those demons. Ain't no money in the world can stop those demons. So a girl, you can go make all that money. But just like they say, the chickens will come home to roost. And when that day comes, the only person that will be able to just hold you, the only thing that's going to be able to hold you together is God. That doesn't mean you're not, you're not going to have to deal with those consequences. God is going to be the only one who can let you out. You'll be able to make it out the other side, but it will be torture. And you, I promise you, no matter what you think, <laughs> this is hard to say because it sounds so harsh I know the same shit's happening for me all those years of pornography I didn't let go I'm not, I'm not getting let off I already know it's coming with dark days I dealt with a lot of those dark days last year when I want to take my life I was the most depressed I've ever been and those dark days aren't over I was in pornography for over a decade I know the darkness is going to come over me for me to set my family free from what I've done. The darkness is coming for me too. It's going to come for you too. It's going to suck. I got a glimpse of it last year. Ain't no amount of money could have saved me. Not one second did I think. Oh it was all worth it. It won't be worth it. When it's all said. And done. I'm going to say something that some people may not understand. And this may sound religious, but this is just my truth. God does love you. And if you run to him, he will be there. But that love. You need to go through that pain. When you come out of that OnlyFans world, and I pray you do. But when you come out of that world, the most loving thing that can happen is for you to realize it was never worth it. And why do you go through such that pain? I'll tell you something. When I was going through my, I keep saying last year, but it was really more like a year and a half ago. When I went through my phase that I was going through and I was freaking losing my mind. There's only one thing that came to my head when I thought I was going to die. I thought I wanted to take my life. I hated my life. I said one thing over and over. If this can help somebody, then the pain, I'll go through it. And that's why you'll have to go through it. When you leave this OnlyFans world and your world comes crashing down and you have to deal with all the disgusting things you've done with all the Ferraris surrounding you and your big ass house and that big ass empty house. When that thing comes for you, that pain that you feel, 
that's going to be the pain that you need to have to help other people who are going to go down the same dumb path you went down. I can help so many people from not going down the porn route, not going down the marijuana route, not going down drinking, not going down the route of overeating. Because I know that pain. I know what it's, first of all, I can feel the pain of being fat. I can feel the pain of my mind still struggles today because I haven't used drugs in so long. I still go through withdrawals here and there. And I can tell you the pain that comes in being in a marriage when you've been dealing with addiction. I know all those pains. And I've got four, five, six more years of this probably. But I can use all this pain all of this to help somebody else but that doesn't mean I get freed from it I will be used as a lesson My, and I hope to be able to help somebody and so if you want to do OnlyFans you want to make $15,000 in your first month do it do it and I hope you make it back but guess what you will be used as a lesson good or bad However it ends, you can fool yourself all day long saying, I'm happy. I don't care. And I'll let you believe whatever you want to believe. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you're not happy. Maybe you are, foolishly. Happiness is just a feeling. You can make it up. But it'll come. And that day, when it comes, those years, I hope you help as many people as you can. I just hope it doesn't end with you. Doing something bad. And I'm not talking about this young lady. I'm talking about people who want to do OnlyFans. There's no easy way out. And when I say OnlyFans, guys, I mean anybody who wants to be in the industry, period. The sex working industry, period. OnlyFans is just the easiest way to talk about it. Because that's the new prostitution. Because we know what prostitution looks like. Real people who are really on the streets. We know. We see those women out there. We know they're destroyed. But the women who get online, you can't see it. You can't see it because it's all digital they can get on here and go hey guys how's it going i just made thirty thousand. you can say well what did ruby rose say i just made six figures on my only fans they can all say it you can get on here and smile shake their booties and <laughs> but when they go home at night they have to delude themselves that's all i gotta say about that